Chicken from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here and some healthy recipes to keep those New Year's resolutions. Right. It's that time of year. <laughs> Which includes beef. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, obviously. So I picked a lot of recipes for this month that incorporate vegetables, um, whole grains, a lot of fresh ingredients, a lot of lemon in this recipe to kind of, you know, the, the weather's cool and a little lemon makes yeah, little it feel a little more like vitamin spring's C, vitamin coming. C. Right. And then lean cuts of beef. So I have top sirloin fillets. Sirloin's a great lean cut. Tenderloin. Tenderloin's a great lean cut. But then also the round cuts, round steak, rump roast, those are great cuts too. Um, very, very lean. Um, those you kind of have to prep, plan ahead. They're not tender. Okay. But sirloin and tenderloin sure. we have today. Well, tenderloin um, especially. Exactly. So let's start with this recipe. Okay, we so have two of them here, right? Top sirloin fillets with a spinach lemon pesto pasta. So I just made a quick marinade, and I marinated the top sirloin for flavor. Because you don't need to marinate for tenderness. So 15 minutes to two hours, um, fresh lemon juice, grated lemon peel, a little paprika, garlic and pepper and that's it. In a bag, just shake In it up. In a bag, shake it up or um, even a glass dish since you're only marinating for a little bit. And then I made some whole wheat pasta um, on the side and with a, just an easy pesto. You know, if you have a food processor, making a homemade pesto is quite easy. So fresh spinach, almonds, Parmesan cheese, some more lemon juice, some more lemon peel, and a little garlic. And then toss that with your hot pasta and throw in some tomatoes or any kind of vegetables that you like. And you've got a great complete meal here. And you can make, you can get pre-made pesto. Definitely. Save some time. And you could use any kind of steak you like also. You don't have to use sirloin. All right. So then here I have, um, it's kind of a sesame crusted tenderloin. Um, we call it an Asian spicy steak with rice. And I made them in little like bento boxes. I so love you can these take things. it for lunch. Mm -hmm. So I just did some whole grain uh, rice on the bottom and then some edamame and then topped them with the sirloin fillet. So I bought a one pound center cut sirloin roast and I actually bought a select. I didn't buy the choice. So you can see, find those for six to eight dollars a pound. Slice it into four fillets and then you roll the fillets in black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. That's all that's on them. And then put them in a skillet and saute them two minutes, flip them over and put them in a hot oven for about 10 minutes and finish them in the oven That's and it. take them out, either have your meal or package them up for lunch. Um, you know, because this time of year, sometimes lunch is where we fall off the wagon. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but if you make a lunch ahead like this, take it to the office and warm it up, you've got super great uh, 35 grams of protein per oh. tenderloin meal. And this one with um, has 41 grams of protein. You got a little dipping sauce. A little here? dipping sauce. So a little that's where the spicy comes in. A little hoisin and a little sriracha and white vinegar in there, and you can drizzle that over the top or package it up, take it with for lunch. Great ideas. So beeftips.com, mm -hmm. um, click on as seen on TV and you'll find these recipes. Plus we've got three or four other great well-balanced meals. And then right on our home page, um, we've got a link to all of our well-balanced meals. So a lot of veggies, whole grains and lean beef cuts. Start the year off right. Yes. Oh, there's food. Look who's here. <laughs> Dave, Dave suddenly appears. Yeah. <laughs> it's magic. It really is. Thanks, Angie. You're welcome.